together to make big projects happen. We could not have to have it happen without the financing and the low interest rates and going from Winslow to make happen over time. I lived in a, in a foreign country for two years that did not have running water. It used to make me wonder how we could do it, how we make things like that happen. And to be a part of it today is a really, really historic uh, day. So I'm going to take a little bit of time to thank um, a lot of people that helped make it happen. It's a team effort. Uh, we have here with us representatives from Garney who have made it happen. Um, thank you to your team. Thank you guys. Very professional um, job. Excellent. Well done. Thank you. I am a uh, customer, one of the heavy users of, uh, of the system. I've got uh, four, uh, I've got three daughters and a, and a beautiful wife who uh, wonderful water <laughs> and over the years it's been fun to see my water bill rate used as the one well, I got grass too and all kinds of food so it doesn't help. We have here with us all of our water district employees. Please, please join with me in thanking our water district. Mike, Frank, Brian, and every one of you, Andrea, thank you very much for everything you're doing to make to make it happen. You may wonder why we keep saying water district and not, uh, and I'm the water district manager and how that's all set up. That was an interesting uh, uh, history and how we're here today to help set up the ability to have a community facility district and to have a little bit uh, separate distinction financially for our city and allows for our future growth, which is something else I'll be talking about here in a little bit. But today we have here with us our representatives from our school district, fire district, Pinal County, um, sewer district, Chamber of Commerce. Larry, your team, thank you for being here. Our city attorney, Joel, where are you? Thank you. Many city staff members, department directors have made it. Folks from East Valley Partnership. Troy, as I get this right, Troy Hudson, where's Troy? Step back. Troy Hayes. Hayes, I'm sorry, Troy Hayes from the city of Phoenix, uh, water department's here. 
Uh, Frank remembers him when he was much younger. <laughs> It was great to have that support. <laughs> and when we think about the investment and the time, and I don't know how much, the mayor's coming after me, so I don't want to get, he's got, he's got, he's got the great history, but I've been here enough to know that many, many policy makers have been involved in the sale of this land, how this land got here. Sandy, remember those days of Pinot County, the swamp? Very much, remember a lot of discussion. Yeah. Um, the ability for us to, to have land. When, when So does anybody know where Empire is? That Empire facility actually was water district land when it became part of the water district. We, we were able to have that land. Um, several members of the board were able to utilize that as an opportunity to sell, get some um, seed money for an investment to start a big project like that. You know, to the tune of a couple million. That took time and energy. Um, and then the determination over time to sit with that policy. And I'll tell you why it's so important. And I'll never forget the night that we got to the point, and as a board, you, you talk about when should we do this? When's the right time? When's the big big time to make the investment? I remember uh, Marin Salako, or Chairman Salako, and he looked at Frank and he said, do it, go get it done. It takes courage. And I want to thank our policymakers for making the courage to do this. Because we've worked very hard with getting the Gila River in the communities, wet water here, which is a big, big deal. It's not just about you know changing the water from CAP water to, to, to uh, purified water, but it's also about getting the wet water here and then getting it to our homes. And that was the big thing. So without the courage to do it, I'm so proud to be a part of it. We've got great things ahead. This system right now will cover and utilize our CAP uh, allotment. Uh, when I started here, we were doing 90% groundwater. Um, now that is flipped. Now we're doing 90 plus percentage on a surface water treatment. Why does that matter? Well, it matters because our water underneath, can't we just can't keep taking it. And so we have an allocation for the city of Apache Junction that has been underutilized. Now we're using it. In addition to that, we are not dependent upon our neighbors to the west. We no longer will have to have a wheeling agreement with the city of Mesa. This treatment plant is ours with our CAP allotment and our ability to, what I say, stand on our own two feet and move forward. So as we work with the State Land Department, we work with the, the, our partners south of the US-60 and the future of Apache Junction, we are prepared. This plant can grow five times bigger, much in a very easy way. That will be an investment, but not such a huge investment. And so working with our partners, uh, with Garney and with, with the sewer district, um, as they say, water is gold in Arizona. We'll be ready for that growth when it's ready. We look forward to working with the private sector and other partners on that. And with that, I am I'm, I'm thankful for this day. I'm thankful for all that have been a part of this. We do it as a team, and I thank you very much. Mr. Mayor, come on up. This year didn't happen overnight. Uh, it's all started with talk with Representative Coleman was mayor, uh, the council. Of Jay Walter, myself, Ari Eck, Rick Dietz, uh, Ryan Milky. You know, uh, it was talked back then before it was consolidated. What can we do? And like I say, it took a long time. We're over a decade in talking to get this thing rolling. And uh, we knew back then that something had to be done. Money doesn't come easy. A lot of people, duck them up here, man. Get up here. Get up here. You know a little more about this week. You can tell, me what, what, tell them what's, what started with this. Which is just, I love putting him on the spot. <laughs> well, we knew that Arizona grows where water flows. Yeah. And Apache Junction grows where water flows. Yeah. Um, we were able to purchase the consolidated water company out of bankruptcy. And uh, we did that by forming the community facilities district. We did not have, still do not have the voter approval necessary to go into the utility business, which is something that we should be working on. Yes. And, uh, but yeah, no, it's a great day, great. Day. Good to be here, and I'm the old fossil.
keeping in touch, but I've been trying to get him for a weekend. He was just been into his phone. I think he's in California, but I would love to have him be here because he was one of the big, the big pushers of seeing this being done. So glad we're finally here. Let's drink some water. <laughs> Thank you. 